void today. O heavenly King, the comforter, the spirit of truth, Lord, everywhere present, fill us all things. Trash your blessings and give of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever on to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities. Thy name said, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever on to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King, and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King, and our God. Attend to my righteousness, O Lord. Give heed to my supplication. Give ear to my prayer, which comes not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth in thy presence. Let mine eyes behold uprightness. Thou hast proved my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me. So that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept ways that are hard. Direct my steps in thy path, so that my footsteps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast heard me, O God, incline and near to me, and hear my words. Show thy marvelous mercy, so thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that resist thy right hand. Keep me as apple of thine eye, O Lord, thou shalt shelter me in the shelter of thy wings, from the face of the ungodly that oppress me. My enemies surrounded my soul, they enclosed themselves their own fat, their mouth has broken pride. They that cast me out of now encompass me, they set their eyes to look down on the earth. They seize me like a lion ready for its prey, and like a young lion dwelling in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels, deliver my soul from their godly, thy sword from the enemies I hand. O Lord, from thy view, separate them from the earth in their life, for their belly was filled with hidden treasures, and they were satisfied with sons, and the remnants they left to their babes. But ask me, I shall be seen in righteousness before thy face. I shall be satisfied when I see thy glory. <clears throat> Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without a cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior, and on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he will set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them to seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him the way we have chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenants shall be made known to them. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, they are multiplied. And they hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. <clears throat> Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before thee. Uh, against thee only have I sinned, and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and since did my mother bear me. For behold, I was loved truth. The unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom as thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. 
Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones have been humble, shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Establish me with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways and godly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, my mouth shall declare thy praise. For as thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. To good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure and sign, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation, whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. The angelic powers are at thy tomb. The guards became as dead men. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst capture hell, not being tempted by it. Thou didst come to the virgin, granting life. No Lord who did rise from the dead, we pray to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In confessing the faith, thou didst proclaim orthodox doctrine. It was unjustly exiled for rebuking the wicked king, O righteous and glorious Amelia. The boast of Sisychus, entreat Christ God to grant us his great mercy. Now and ever out to the ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, who has put forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O sovereign lady, intercede together with the holy apostles, that he may be merciful to our souls. Bless us, the Lord God, bless us, the Lord, day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. <clears throat> holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. On the mountain was thou transfigured, O Christ God, and thy disciples beheld thy glory as far as they could see it, so that when they should be wholly crucified, they would understand that thy suffering was voluntary and would proclaim to the world that thou art truly the radiance of the Father. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou at every season, every hour in heaven on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassion, who loves the just and show us mercy upon the sinner, who call us all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels, who guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge and unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without corruption thou gavest birth to God, the Lord. To thou talk we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Through the prayers of our most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God, the Master, the Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, thou only begotten Son, and thou Holy Spirit, one God, had one power. Have mercy on me, a sinner, by the judgments known to thee. Save me, thou unworthy servant, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. 
Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words in my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul. They have not set God before them, for behold, God helps me. The Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall reward evils upon my enemies. Utterly destroy them in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice to thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me out of every affliction, and my eye has looked down upon my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and despise not my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation and troubled because of the voice of the enemy and because of the oppression of the sinner. For they brought iniquity against me, and in wrath were they indignant with me. My heart was troubled within me, and the fear of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? Then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for him that should save me from faint-heartedness and tempest. Drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night it shall go round about her on her walls, and iniquity and sorrow and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. And usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it. And if one who hated me had spoken evils against me, I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man of like soul, my guide and my own familiar friend, who together with me didst make our meals sweet. We walked in the house of God with one mind. Let death come upon them. Let them go down alive into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings in the midst of them. As for me, I cried to God. The Lord heard me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will recount and declare it, and he shall hear my voice. He shall deliver my soul in peace from them that draw near to me. For they were with me in great numbers. God shall hear and shall humble them. He that exists before the ages. For there is no change with them, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand for retribution. They have profaned his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance. Their hearts drew nigh. His words were smoother than oil, yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper, my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from a troubling word. He shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walks in darkness, nor for the mishap and the demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners, for thou, Lord, art my hope. Thou hast made the Most High thy refuge. No evil shall come upon thee. No scourge shall draw near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the asp and basilisk. Thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. The angelic powers were at thy tomb, the guards became as dead men. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst capture hell, not being tempted by it. Thou didst come to the virgin, granting life. O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast transfigured on the mount, O Christ God, revealing thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. Let thy everlasting light shine upon us sinners. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O giver of light, glory to thee, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. As we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who is born of thee. For much more is the prayer of a mother able to incline the master unto kind-heartedness. Despise not the supplications of sinners, O all-pure one. 
for merciful and strong to save us, he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. The Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of age. Amen. When Christ God, the giver of life, raised all the dead from the valleys of misery with his mighty hand, he bestowed resurrection on the human race. He is the Savior of all, the resurrection, the life, and the God of all. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come, O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their host. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Through the prayers of most blessed Master, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on all. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thine ineffable and tender mercy has sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross has torn up the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness, do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners. Deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression, from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee. Let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. Rather, wound our souls with thy love, that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee, the eternal light that no man can approach, we may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
gratitude our Metropolitan Tikhon, for his grace, Bishop Alexis, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. This holy habitation for every city and countryside and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed art thou, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his Satisfies thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He may know his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long suffering and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the 
mercy and all that is in them. Who keeps his faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free, the Lord opens the eyes of the blind, the Lord lifts up those who are bowed down, the Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the soldier as he upholds the widow and the fatherless, but the way of the wicked he will bring to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. My God will fly unto all generations. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Only be God's in Son and immortal Word of God, who for our salvation is will to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, who without change did speak a man and was crucified. O Christ our God, trampling the death by death, who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit,
weak and not to please ourselves. Let every one of you please his neighbor for his good to edification. For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell upon me. For whatsoever things were written before were written for our learning, that we, through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Christ Jesus, that with one mind and one mouth you may glorify God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, receive ye one another, just as Christ also received you to the glory of God. Amen. And to thy spirit, the Alleluia, in the sixth tone, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
soul, and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan deacon, for his grace, Bishop Alexis, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all of our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation, for the newly departed Proto Presbyter Leonid, Archpriest Adam, Mary, Vadim, Eric, Kira, Nancy, Esteban, Edward, and John, and for all of our fathers and brethren. The Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God. Metropolitan Tikhon, Metropolitan Herman, Metropolitan Joan, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, and Bishop Alexis. Our commandrite Sergius, Sigumans, Gabriel, and Cyprian, Archpriest John, Stephen, Alexander, and Daniel, Higher Monks and Akenti and Herman, Priest Ignatius, Michael and Michael, Higher Deacon David, Monks and Nicodemus and Kirill, Rossfor Monks, Michael, Anton, Stephen and Stephanos, Novices, Paul, Michael, George, and Andrew, for Subdeacon Martin, Readers John, Hezekius, Paul, Benedict, and Richard, for Matushka, Stunet, Catherine, Dorothy, Alexandra, Elizabeth, Amelia, Gail, Dolores, and Rachel, for Mary, Judith, Anne, Patrick, Maria, Anastasia, Eugene, John and Christopher, for Bishop Saba, our commandrite, Simeon, Archpriest, Michael, John, Luke, John, Stephen, Thomas, Dionysius, Dennis, Andre, John, Daniel, and John, Hiram, Monks, Ephroni, Priest John, Peter, Joel, Philip, John, Kirill, John, Isaac, Daniel, John, Matthew, Patrick, David, John, Andrew, John, Moses, Samuel, Michael, and Paul, for Philip, Mark, Juliana, Trevor, Luke, Serge, Patricia, Joshua, Louise, Rosemary, Christina, Joshua, Vijay, Daniel, Lilia, Lily, Galena, Sue, Christine, Pavel, Philip, Allison, Elizabeth, Christopher, Richard, Olga, Vladimir, all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have Amongst David, Damascene, Ephraim, Novices, Aaron, Joseph, Ephraim, John, Yvonne, Don Theodore, Vasily, Christos, Alexander, Jonathan, Anthony, Father Anthony, Father Joseph, Mother Galena, Elena, Alexander, Archpriest Michael, our commander, Ephraim, our commander, Nictorius, Deacon John, Matuska Cynthia, Matuska Dolores, Deacon Elias, Archpriest Jason, Rob Clem, Chloe, Maria, Archpriest Moses, Vladimir, William, Polly, Benjamin, Carol, Nicole, Seraphim, Stephen, Mark, Ava, Lilia, Peggy, Subdeacon, John, Buddy, Mara, Priest Patrick, Peter, Andrew, Stephen, Altheria, Arlene, and Michael, as they endure great suffering, heal their maladies, and quickly restore them to health, we diligently beg you, upon the feelings, hearken, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. spread of disease in this land that is upon us because we forgot thee the only source of life. Protect us in this place and all of us here from sickness and disease. Send thy mighty angel of light to defend and guard us all. May not one of us get sick from this virus, but grant us health, protection, peace with our neighbors and in our hearts, forgiving our sins and the sins of this nation. 
We beg thee, hear us, grant us these things, and show us thy compassionate and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. God, have mercy for God, and love us mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth, that he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens.
blessed Tikhon, Archbishop of Washington, and the College of Mary, Archive of Canada, the Right Reverend Alexis, Bishop of Bethesda, local attendants of the Diocese of Sitka and Alaska, the Right Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, Archivandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Honorable Priest of the Diaconate Christ of the Nessus' Community, the Seminaries of Faculty, the Board of Trustees for all Carlo Land Benefactors, may the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom. Always now and ever and unto ages of ages, the present in this country for all civil authorities, the armed forces serving everywhere, the sick, the suffering, those who are in need of God's mercy, especially thy servants, Metropolitan Herman, for Anthony, Jonathan, for thy servants, our commander and seraphim, and the holy the brotherhood of the Holy Cross, Hermitage. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. The Orthodox depart this life before us, all those buried in our cemetery, all the departed brethren and benefactors of this holy habitation. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember you in the seventy kingdom. Always now and ever and unto ages of ages. souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Venerating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee.
visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten God made of what is since with the Father. By whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace.
broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins.
delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say,
light of thy countenance, and in thy name shall we rejoice all the day. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Having shown forth in manifest understanding from the old holy virgin, O Word of God, and having arrayed thyself holy in Adam by the divine transformation of thine appearance, thou didst illumine his own nature. Which before had become darkened, being transfigured on Mount Tabor, before suffering on thy precious cross, O Master Christ our God. Beholding Christ illumined. Disciples falling to the ground in fear, yet enlightened in mind and heart, manifestly gazed upon him with Moses and Elijah, and praised him as God with the Father and the Spirit. once was shrouded in darkness and smoke, is now honorable and holy, Christ who as it is written, once guided Israel by a pillar of fire and cloud, hath shone forth today ineffably more brightly than the sun, illumining all
sinner comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and does reveal himself to us. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly thine own most pure body, and this is truly thine own precious blood. Therefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me. And forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord but to the healing of soul and mind.
So it says, as Jesus prayed, his face was transfigured, and it's a message to all of us. As we pray, our face is also, our face is also transfigured. Truly, prayer is the answer. If you're having difficulties with any situation in your life, you know what? I have one answer for you, prayer. Prayer is the answer. Are you having difficulty with your children? Prayer is the answer. Are you having difficulty with your spouse? Prayer is the answer. Are you having difficulty with your life, with carrying your cross? Prayer is the answer. There is no other answer. This is communion with God. It is our conversation with God that affects our union with God. So let us take that very seriously. Not, let us not sideline it for any reason at all. There's no reason not to pray. And to pray with all of our hearts at all times in every place. This is the duty of a Christian and in fact his greatest joy. His or her greatest joy. It is what we are called to do. It enables us to be more of who we are. It enables us to find ourselves. So let us give thanks to God for that great 
uh, and wondrous feast of the transfiguration and knowing that it was through as Christ prayed his face was transfigured and so it will be with us as well this week we have the feast of Saint Herman uh, tomorrow because it's on Monday we'll have the liturgy at 6 30 vigil tonight at 4 30 and let's see we have the feast day of the monastery of patronal feast day this week of Saint Tikhon of Sedan so that will be on Thursday evening at 4 30 the liturgy is late on Friday morning at 8.40, the hours begin, and 9 o'clock liturgy on Friday morning. Next Sunday is Dormition. Uh, we won't be able to have the entire service because it falls on the resurrection, so we'll have the Feast of the Dormition next Sunday. And we will have the Maleta to St. Anna immediately following the veneration of the cross. We also express uh, in, uh, our, our uh, the, the, the birthday wishes to Anna, Father Ignatius' daughter, who's 10 years old. 10th birthday, so we'll see many years to her and to all those who celebrate birthdays and namesakes today. Grant to the Lord long life, peace, health, salvation, for this and all good things. We add to our much quality, God is gracious, Mr. Alexis, to the monastics, this community, the seminaries, the faculty, the board of trustees, for all of our alumni and benefactors, into thy handmaiden, the child of God, Anna, who celebrates her birthday, preserve and protect them for many blessed years. Lord, grant you a Thank you, O Lord my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but has made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee for thou hast permitted me the unworthy to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gavest us these dread and life-giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. Passing from this life in the hope of eternal life, may I attain to the everlasting rest where the voice of those who feast is unceasing and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God. And all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. And to thee we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy. Let me not be consumed, O my Creator, but instead enter into my joints, on my members, my reins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul, sanctify my reasonings, make firm my joints and bones. Illumine my five senses, nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me beauty, understanding, and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion flee from me as from a fire. As I become thy house through communion, I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, O good one. And to thee, our Master and God, do we send up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, at thy dread second coming, through the prayers of thy most pure Mother and of all the saints. 
Most Holy Lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank thee for although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gavest birth to the true light, enliven me who am deadened by sin. Thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality, have mercy on me, O loving Mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings. And make me worthy even to my last breath to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy lips like a beacon has enlightened the universe. It has shown to the world the riches of poverty. It has revealed to us the heights of humility, teaching us by thy words of Father John Chrysostom, intercede before the word Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou dost receive the grace of God, teaching us by thy words to worship the one God in Trinity. We worthily praise thee, O blessed John Chrysostom, well pleasing to God, for thou art a teacher revealing things divine. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless.